Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and to this video where we are going to compare two khaki palettes to each other. Both of these palettes are pretty new to the market. We have the Khaki Haze by Huda Beauty and then we have the Khaki Colin by Morphe. There's a big price difference. This one is $12, this one is $29. We're going to swatch them side by side. We're going to use one on one eye and one of the other. We're going to see if the quality is comparable, if it actually is somewhat of a khaki tone and we're just going to see which one we prefer. Maybe you can do the more expensive one with the more affordable one. Who knows? And if you haven't been here before, my name is Angie. Hello, I am a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful makeup. So we are gonna try and see if we can make this look a bit green today. Like how green can you really go with these palettes? That's what we're gonna find out today. And if you wanna see some more color in your timeline, if you wanna see some things that you might not see on every other channel, please do subscribe because I upload several videos a week. I'm gonna put this one on first. This is the Morphe Mega Matte Lipstick in Forward. It is like an orangey shade. I did a Morphe order, and if you've been keeping up with my channel, you know I posted a video with me trying the colorful one. I did not like it at all, not even. There are a lot of really good colorful options on the market. That one should not be a contender. I will leave that train wreck up here in the corner if you want to see me do that. So I'm hoping that this one will be better than the other one. So let me start by applying this one. It smells like nothing. And then we'll go into the palettes. That is really orange. It is a very lovely color though. I like the color a lot. Okay, so this uh, palette, I bought this from Morphe in EU. I don't know if this is available at Ulta yet, but it is available at Morphe US. And then this Huda Beauty khaki one, I got this one at Cult Beauty. And this one you can buy at so rude at Sephora as well. So these are the two contenders today for palettes. If you look at them side by side, you will see that the Huda Beauty one does have some pinky tones that you cannot find in the one from Morphe. And you can see that the Morphe one actually has more green tones that you cannot find in the one from Huda. They do have some very comparable shades. And when you see them swatched out, you will see that some shades are actually very similar. It all depends on what you're looking for because in the Huda one you'll have two pinks that you do not have on the other palette but in the Morphe one you will get that more peachy yellow transition shade if you prefer that and you will also get three t green tones that you cannot find in the uh, Huda one. That khaki one I know that when I swatched when I swatched these compared I swatched this khaki green here which is a khaki green in the Huda one and I swatched that next to this green here but when I started swatching them out actually this one here is more a comparable dupe to the khaki one here. So I will say that this palette offers three green tones and one more of a brown khaki tone and this one actually only offers two khaki leaning shades. The other ones not so much and also those two pinky tones and this like reddish brown down here I don't really understand why Huda feels like she needs to put pinks and reds in every palette even one that she's naming khaki it is a very beautiful like gold pink duochrome it is but it has no business being in a khaki palette I'm gonna be totally honest with you so I was thinking first that I was gonna do like a trying to make them similar but I think instead I'm gonna try and make both of my eyes as green as possible because I feel like there are probably so many other people out there that are doing more like neutral looks and I I wanted to get like neutral khakis. So we are going to try and see if we can make this a bit khaki. I'm going to zoom in and we can begin. Welcome to my face. So we're do doing Morphe on this side and we're doing Huda on this side. And I think I'm going to start with the Morphe side. I am going to be using this one that is the green one, the green transition shade. And we are just going to see... Because, yeah, I did not like the quality of the other palette that I used at all. So I need to see if the greens or like the colorful shades in this is any better quality than those. Because I don't know, I mean, Morphe isn't really known for making like colorful shadows. I haven't tried the James Charles palette, but I can only assume that it's way better than the train wreck that I tried. This one looks great when you're only wearing one shade, which was the, let's be honest, the problem with the other palette as well. We just use a brush with no product and just blend on the edge a bit. Let me actually, let me use this one that is like a khaki brown so we can have somewhat of a similar 
vibe to both of these. So I am gonna take that like khaki brown that it's gonna be very similar to the other one from the Huda to make this more of a khaki look. And I'm just gonna see if I can deepen this up. Of course it helps that there's already some green in the crease. But that is actually a really nice khaki look. Let me just see if I can go in with a little bit more of that light green on the edge. It's not smooth as blend with these Morphe shadows. I don't know if I'm being pickier with makeup lately or if they have just was better before, but I'm not super impressed with these Morphe shadows. It's been a re uh, it's been a hot minute since I bought a Morphe palette. Let's just put it like that. Can't even remember the last one I got, but yeah, I'm not super impressed with how they go on. But I mean, this one looks that one looks okay. Let's start actually on the under eye, and let's start. <sighs> let's start with this one then. I mean, I can't use the pink. I could, of course, use this light brown, but I think I'm just gonna. St Let me just start with that one. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Famous last words. I'm using a smaller brush and a bit of a denser brush to begin with here because I don't have a transition shade and I want to make sure that I don't make this look too muddy. So I'm gonna take it a little at a time. That is a really nice tone. But you can see that they are pretty similar. The only difference is that this one has that green transition shade. I really wish that this Huda Beauty, I wish that she would just, in Sweden, in Sweden you pretty much say that you're holding on to the, f like, not the fence, but like you're holding on to the hockey rink. That's basically what you're saying. You're holding on to the hockey rink because you're afraid to be on your skates without holding on to something. And that's how I feel when it comes to Huda Beauty and her eyeshadow palettes. She's still grasping and holding on to those pinks and reds without totally letting go instead and just trusting that she can make nice, fun palettes without putting a lot of pinks and reds in all of them. Because imagine how cool this would have been if this one would have been that same dark green that was in the Morphe one and this one would have been like a grungy light green or like a grungy mustard. It would have been so cool because this shadow is nice. This is a lovely, lovely shadow. I'm gonna use the same one that I used on the other side without any additional product and I'm just gonna blend the edge. I mean, I do prefer this shadow a lot over this shadow. This shadow is not as opaque. And the edge where these meet is a bit darkened and doesn't look... I mean, this this is a smoother edge, even though it's blended into just the eye primer. So I would definitely say that the Huda Beauty is a better quality when it comes to the khaki matte shade. So I'm gonna do... I'll do the same khaki shadow uh, under the lid on both of these as well. So I'm just gonna put, this is the Huda one, just gonna put that under the eyes as well. And I'm taking that brownish khaki shade under my eye from the Morphe palette as well. They are actually very, very similar. Very similar. Okay, so this is where they're gonna differ a bit because in this palette you have this dark brownish khaki shade. Let me put that one on the lid and we can see how that looks. But on the other palette we have a dark brown shimmer, a more in like a warm brown shimmer, and then we have this light green. So I'm thinking we'll start with this brown and then have half the lid be the green. Me using a neutral shimmer. The world really is coming to an end. Okay, so this is the Huda Beauty one. There is a lighter shimmer that I can use as well. Maybe I'll save a little bit here and we can use that. Yeah, that's really giving that khaki grungy vibe. I will say just to like, some mentioned this, 
I would think, based on how the Huda Beauty shimmers look, that they are poured into the pan, meaning that they have a very smooth, almost sealed surface. So if you want to be able to pick this up either with your finger or your brush, you need to like just break the initial upper layer before you do it, because I think it's something about her formula. They seem to be like poured into the pan. So that's just something to remember. If you feel like these are hard to pick up with the brush, just try to like rug it up a little bit with the brush for the first time you use them and then it should be easier. I'm gonna take the so rude. I'm gonna take this shadow right now up in the corner and I'm gonna put that in the inner corners and also just a little bit on yeah this one really needs to be rugged up. I'm thinking I'm gonna put that on the inner corner and like the inner part of the lid. This one is the hardest one to pick up for sure out of the shadows in this and this one. I do spray all my shimmers. Uh, I'm gonna spray shimmers from both the brands. This isn't really light enough to be a highlighter in my inner corner, but it can still be a little bit of a sparkle. Maybe we can use a little bit of this dark brown shade just to deepen this up a little bit. The dark brown shade in the Morphe palette is a lot more of a black and cool tone brown. This is more like an actual, like, bitter, dark chocolate brown. Just putting a little bit in the outer corner like that to deepen it up. Well, that layered and blended really nice. Okay, on to the Morphe side. I'm gonna take half the lid with this brown and half the lid with this green, and we'll just see what we get. This is where the looks are gonna start looking very very different. These shimmers, at least the two on the top, are not metallics. They are definitely, oopsie, more like classic shimmers. Um, they don't really foil, they just look like a satiny shimmer on the lid, which can be a really sophisticated look. I'm not saying that to look down on it, I'm just saying that it's a different texture, it's not metallics. And then I am putting the lighter green in the inner part. And here you can see that this is pulling a lot more green than the other one, for obvious reasons of course, because this one is indeed more green putting a little bit in the inner corners as well. And then in this palette, I could technically go with this dark brown, because it would probably look the most like the other one, but since it's already so different, I want to try out this dark green, because I do think that that is the most unique and the most interesting color in this palette. So let's try that out in the outer corner. Ooh! and see what it looks like. Because I will say that when I swatched it, it reminded me a lot of Squad from Colored Rain. That is, that is nice. That I think is the shade that I'm the most impressed with in this entire palette. It does have a little bit of fallout, but it's honestly not that bad. Yeah, that, that, that dark green, I mean, I only used a little bit of it, but it was easy to apply, easy to blend out. It has a really nice dark foresty green tone. I think that that color, if that is a color you're looking after, looking out for, wait, what would be the proper grammar? Looking after or looking out for? I'm not sure. That could maybe be an like an idea for why you would want to get the palette but I mean I'm not below like this looks okay I'll go out in this I think that this looks fine this looks good too and I do prefer how the intensity and the blend looks on this side even though I don't have a transition shade here if I had a transition shade here I would probably like this side even more I do prefer this dark green though that dark green is beautiful. And I like the texture of the Huda Beauty shimmers more than I like the texture of the shimmers from this side. I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? Just based on what you see here today, this side, the Morphe side, definitely more green. Not as easy to work with, not as opaque, the shimmers are not as good, but they are easier to pick up. But I will say that these two dark shades are really dark and yummy, and especially this green one is like a more of a unique color, and then you get like 
we have more greens in this khaki palette, let's be honest. The Huda one, it is more than twice the price, but I do prefer how those mattes go on and how they blend and how opaque they are. I don't, I feel like it looks a bit patchy on camera. I don't know if it, in real life it doesn't. Sometimes the, the lights, because I'm working with artificial lights because I have to, I don't know if you see, but it's like, it's, can't really work with natural light when you're living in Sweden. It's, I wish I could, trust me. I wish I lived in a country where I could, but I just can't. So I feel like on camera sometimes it's making my eyeshadow look a bit more patchy than it is. This would have benefited from a transition shade and next time I use this palette I will most definitely use it with a transition shade. But if you are of a medium to deeper skin color you might uh, like approve of the fact that there is only one light pink here. The rest of them are actually deep enough to be used in the crease for you most probably. Maybe not this one if you are of a deep uh, skin skin tone. So I think at least that's good because I feel like sometimes in these neutral palettes they just include so many light shades that's just like redundant. But I still feel like even without a transition shade I still feel like the blend is really good and I would go out in this one as well. well with, with some mascara. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know. I will say I like this one a lot more than I liked the colorful one. The colorful one I didn't like at all. This one I liked just just good. I still feel like these shades did not match that like mix that good. It probably would have been better with this transition shade when I'm using this khaki one here, but it just is what it is. It's still pretty nice. It's definitely worth the $12 if you j didn't want to spend a lot of money and just wanted to get these colors. Still a lot more impressed with the recent quality from BH Cosmetics though. If you are choosing between the brands, I would definitely personally say go with BH Cosmetics because their formula has been impressing me a lot more than these two new palettes by Morphe has. Not gonna lie. And I like Huda Beauty's quality, but I probably won't buy another palette from her unless I can get one that's not a pink or two or three in there, even though it's not a pink theme. But that's just me. The lipstick is nice. It looks okay. I love the color. You're gonna have to let me know what you think about that one as well. And yeah, I think that was everything. I'm not gonna finish this up because I'm not gonna be wearing this any longer. But I will be trying these out a little mu more before I review them, of course. I always come back a month later and I review everything that I've hauled in the month before. I just want to have some weeks to try it before I give you my final thoughts because I personally love watching a first impression, but I love even more when I can come back and give you my final verdict after some time because sometimes I feel worse about the item and sometimes I feel better about the item. Sorry for rambling. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon again. Bye!